Um, I'm here sitting at Campus State, the latest acquisition for Larnet Castle. Deborah, tell us about this latest acquisition. Yes, we opened in January of 2011. It's so exciting to have this new property as part of the Larnet Castle stable. Now, what have you got here in terms of accommodation, uh, ceremony, that sort of thing? Uh, there's two function rooms. We also have a guest sitting room. This is the room we're sitting in at the moment. And all of these open out onto one another, plus a magnificent marble staircase and terrace at the top of the staircase where you could have your jazz band playing or perhaps have your wedding ceremony. As well as that, we've got five luxurious bedrooms or with en suites, very high end, perfect for the bride and groom and maybe their friends, the, the bridesmaid to stay in. Uh, what about catering at Campus State? All the catering at Campus State is done from our um, fantastic team at Larnet Castle. So, um, and we have a fantastic range of menus to choose from and an extensive wine list as well, featuring a lot of Central Otago wines. That's always good for the, for the New Zealanders that are returning home to be married. Now I know the castle is so popular. Tell me about the options for getting married there. Yes, there's all sorts of options. Um, you can choose to have your ceremony at the castle, and a lot of people do. Uh, the garden is, of course, the most popular place to get married. And in the garden, we've got oh, three or four really fantastic posies to get married. Um, a favourite is the in the green room with the reflection pond. Um, we do have a wet weather option, uh, which is the lower veranda. Um, and the bride will come down the staircase and um, awaiting at the bottom of the staircase will be her f family and friends. Um, so that's one of the options. And then usually after the ceremony, lots of bubbles, cocktails, and then later on after the photos into the ballroom for the dinner and dance. Now where can they have their photos taken? There are a range of options. I mean, the garden at Lanark Castle is a garden of international significance. So you're not going to run out of places in the garden. But they can also use inside the castle if they so wish. Do you have to get married at the castle? No, no, you don't have to get married at the castle. Um, a lot of people choose to get married at their church in, in Dunedin and come up later. We do provide transport up, uh, usually from the railway station or the venue that they're getting married up to the castle for the reception and we will return them safely home at night time. Now I understand catering is part of the package at Larnock's Castle. Tell me a little bit about that. We've got a fantastic team of caterers at the castle and um, a very varied selection of menu choices which uh, when you're organising your wedding you would come in, discuss your budget, discuss your choices. So guests coming up to the castle, what sort of accommodation do you have for them? Uh, we're very lucky. Um, with the acquisition of Camp Estate we now have three types of accommodation. So we um, have the five rooms at Camp Estate that can be used. We also have 12 lodge rooms. They all have spectacular views of the harbour, all with en suites. And we have six budget style rooms in the stables, perfect for the teenagers and the family. It's always very nice um, the day after a wedding to see all the guests having breakfast together and mulling over the events of the night before. Thanks for your time today, Deborah. Now, if anyone wants to get in contact with you, how do, how do we get hold of you? Yes, the best way to get in touch with us is to email us on functions at larnetcastle.co.nz or telephone Larnet Castle on 47616116. Now, we've got two sumptuous venues here at Larnet's Castle and, and on the estate. You need to check them out. Give them a call or email them.